right, so we got a match right away, which just worked out perfectly. And this hand is about the normal for hands that you're going to get with this deck, where it's like uh, Bioblight that might be dead in a lot of matchups, uh, Thoughtseize, which might not be great if they're playing something like Mono Red, a bunch of lands, uh, a bunch of Scrylands, you don't really know what you need, but it's like you can't really choose to play a deck like this and then also mulligan hands like this because that's it's just not going to work because your six-card hands can be even more awkward, plus you have things like uh, Ojutai and Silumgar that are just probably going to clunk up your draws a little bit. Uh, Dig Through Time is another one. So uh, basically any any hand with five lands, like it is certainly sketchy, it's loose or what, what have you, but it is certainly worth keeping. So uh, opponent has a Temple of Mystery and a Delta. So it looks like Saltai, maybe a Sidisi deck. And yeah, Thoughtseize, which is not good because uh, no matter what they're doing, they can probably punch a hole through our hand. Uh, it's probably going to involve taking our Thoughtseize, though. That's just like the most general catch-all, plus I get all the information. But yeah, at this point, I would certainly assume that, you know, they're on one of the random CDC decks, but uh, could be some weirdo Celtic control deck. We haven't seen that deck in a while, but it's certainly still out there. And took my Bile Blight, actually. Interesting. Now we Thoughtseize, get some information, and then scry and use this knowledge to uh, actually figure out what we need. And our opponent is not playing a CDC deck. Well, he could be. Could be playing CDC still. Some people are incorporating this package, but uh, this, this just looks like a bug creature deck for, for right now, at least. So... <clears throat> I feel like Den Protector is the pretty easy take here, just because it is the best card. Courser is not castable currently. Uh, taking Bioblight is strange. I, I would ex I would probably have taken Thoughtseize and then, you know, played out my Raptor, played out my Courser, eventually flipped my Den Protector to get all my stuff back, because Bioblight doesn't really interact with his hand too well unless my opponent is planning on playing Den Protector face down, which is... Generally not a good idea, unless you can also flip it up in the same turn. So, I'm going to take this Den Protector, leave him with Corsair, Raptor, Island. And get our Scry on here. And we don't need another land, so we can safely ship that to the bottom. And our spot is not great here, but we have another Scry land. Our opponent's kind of missing colors here. He could play a face-down Raptor this turn if he wanted to. Ah, uh, but he drew a land more ways. So, now he's going to play Raptor face-up to protect his Corsair from the Foul Tongue. And I am not even going to bother invocationing that this turn. Uh, my opponent did Thoughtseize me. So, you know, if I play this Temple of Deceit that I just drew, they're going to know that I only have one unknown card, which is actually a Swamp. But I would much rather just get the actual good land into play because it's not like they're really going to change their play based on knowing that, you know, I only have one unknown card instead of two. So uh, Island is a pretty easy ship. Again, we have a bunch of lands. Could use some threats. Some some fatty dragons, perhaps. And now here comes Corsair. Murderous cut on top. That's great. And they drew an opulent palace. And we drew another land, too. And there's an Ojutai. So he has a murderous cut, but I think that's okay because we have two havens. And it draws a temp or a mel melody on top, whip of Erebos on top. All right, things are getting out of control here. And we're just gonna foul tongue now to not take the three. Plus, uh, we have good information, and our opponent does not have a way to bring back this raptor quite yet. So I believe. It is just a good time to jam Ojutai. It means they can't attack. They have to keep man open for cut. And a raptor on top, which could potentially bring back the other raptor. So This game's going to be tricky. We're going to need to draw some spells. If we drew a scorn here, that'd be insane. Could protect from murderous cut. Uh, don't hit that. So now I have to make a decision as to whether or not I would just want to trade this Ojutai with cut. Uh, does clear out probably the Den Protector from the Graveyard, which is not, uh, I don't know, it's definitely not a bad thing. 
Uh, we have the Haven to rebuy the Ojutai and replay it. So it's whether or not we just want to trade <clears throat> the Haven and a turn for the Murderous Cut. Uh, and then replay Ojutai next turn. And I think that is a good plan. It is better than sitting here and hoping to draw a Counterspell. Alright, story checks out. Ojutai's dead. For now. Uh, Raptor's probably going to come into play face down, I would assume. That's fine with me, because we get to Bioblight this thing. Killing two Raptors with one Bioblight, which is not the craziest thing. But it's nice. We have... Uh, well, we're not under a bunch of pressure right now, which is pretty good. And now we have a score. So now we are in business. We just have to... Uh, make sure that this whip does not kill us in the meantime. So, no land, so you can't play Corsair and whip something. Uh, Sidisi on top is probably going to be problematic. But we can, we can counter that if that's a big deal. So he's just going to whip back a raptor, get aggressive. It's fine with me. And now we have to try and close the door here before the CDC gives him enough stuff for his whip and enough zombies and whatnot. Uh, so Dragonlord Silumgar is a magic card. So much better than Drifting Death, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not... I don't think it matters if I give him an Urborg, but there's really no point quite yet. Uh, I probably shouldn't have played my land, but uh, it's it's like actually fine because I get to keep a fetch. So he's gonna play Sidisi. Finds another CDC so he gets a zombie, but I'm pretty far ahead now. We're going to crack this fetch because we don't want to draw the caves. Here's Downfall's a fine draw. Foul Tongue on top. So the Corsair Ojutai interaction is pretty nice. We're going to attack for A, keep Corsair on D, have a couple of removal spells. Uh, now we can take Dig Through Time, I suppose. Swamp on top, happily play that. Another Foul Tongue on top, so we're doing pretty well for ourselves. All things considered. Uh, this game turned around quickly. One Ojutai hit. Bang. Like, game, game was basically over. Alright, so Sidisi is attacking us. And I think I'm just going to downfall this so no more zombies are made. And yeah, this just does look like a pretty normal Saltai deck. Haven't seen like the Frontier Bivouac yet or Dragonlord Atarka, so maybe it's just straight Saltai. Want to play your own Corsair Crew Fix? That's fine. Yeah, Pokeri's dead on bottom, Opulent Palace on top, and now they're basically dead. We don't find too much of consequence off this dig, but it is enough. It's all we need. Especially since we draw a Dissolve and we get the Ojutai into another Scorn, so they're just locked out. This game turned around quick. Super quick. So 
So whip X to DC. I'm gonna foul tongue to gain the life. And then dig into this hero's downfall. And then they're not gonna be able to gain enough life to not die in the crack bag. So we have all these counter spells. And nothing to counter. It's too bad. Sure, we'll take a crux. <coughs> awesome, awesome. So I like Ugin here, obviously. Uh, thought season some numbers are good, counter spells are pretty reasonable, uh, although. Like, Stroke used to be good against this deck because all their high-impact cards cost four or more. Uh, but now, with, like, the Den Protector Raptor package, it's actually kind of tough. So, you know, sometimes they just play a bunch of morphs and your Strokes don't do anything. Uh, it might be worth bringing in a couple. Invocation does not seem great against Seder Wayfinder deck. Bio Blight's probably fine against the DC. Maybe I want another card drawer in Prerogative. Uh, you could say something about Virulent Plague killing the zombies, but I don't think that's worth a card. So I'm looking at, like, maybe these four coming in here. And... <clears throat> Ultimate Price, probably not the greatest. Kills Courser, uh, Undead Vizier, if he's got that. But, uh, doesn't kill, like, a face-down raptor or anything, so that's a shame. Maybe cut a price. Kind of want like a prerogative, a stroke, and maybe the four thoughtsies. I could probably just live with three thoughtsies though. Don't want to draw multiples. Uh, you know, they go hellbent pretty quickly. So, I think post board we're going to be trading resources a little more. So, the extra card draw is pretty nice. And if he has ways to kill my dragons, actually, then I'm going to want more card drawing so I can actually get to Ugin and find it. Uh, and have enough resources to actually play it and not die in the meantime. So, this looks good to me. Maybe I want another stroke or something. Maybe the other thought sees. Because I'm adding a 6 and an 8 drop, so my curve's going up a decent amount. Maybe dissolves are not great, actually, because they can get under them. But, I'll keep them. Keep them for now. I'll try them out. So we have one and two mana, piece of interaction, and a dig through time to kind of mop up. And our opponent mulliganed on the play again, which is pretty unfortunate. And again, I'm just going to play the backwater instead of the temple. I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. Whoa. All I'm doing is trying to move my hand around, get a little sorted, and I'm just messing everything up. Just... <laughs> I'm fine if our opponent thoughts uses us. He's down to four cards with only two land in play, so this game is shaping up to be pretty similar to the last one, and this time he actually takes my thoughts ease. So now kinda know what I want, you know. Not not a land, certainly. Uh probably not another dig through time either. This is one of those games where this island would be a little bit better as a flooded strand. And here comes a morph. I assume that's a den protector. And the raptor would just get cast face up basically. So den protector happens and he thought sees me again. It's going to be pretty rough. We haven't drawn a lot of spells since our opener. Oh, and he mills a raptor actually. That's that's pretty good for him. Uh, and picks up a copy of Opulent Palace. Things are not going well. I'm drawing some lands here. Yeah, maybe it is just a raptor because he had the satyr. But if it's Den Protector now into Thoughtseize, then I'm actually in trouble. But 
Uh, he, well, he could just, like, stroke my crux, too, which would be pretty bad. Stroke or negate. Maybe that's a Stratus Dancer? I don't know. I think I'm okay just taking these hits for three until I figure out what's actually going on. There we go. Now we have a game plan. Puppy. I don't know why my dog is barking. Alright, opponent plays a carryated. We are going to shoot down this morph. See what it turns out to be. Beautiful. Sniffed it out. Now we get the Crux with Stroke open and have Ugin for next turn potentially. So, unless I get Swan Song or something. Uh, non Dragons. Seems like the correct choice. Blow up all those animals. See, Morphs in Constructed is pretty fun. When there's like three or four different options, I like it a lot. It's pretty sweet. Picks up a forest, puts another raptor in the yard. And here's a whip. Uh, I would be perfectly content just ooganing this away, but I don't actually have the eighth land for sure. So we have to stroke that. And we have an Anticipate, which is cool. We'll cast that main phase. Maybe we hit a Temple of Enlightenment or something. That's the best card we can take. We hit a Scorn, but we don't have any dragons. Uh, but we're going to have five cards in the yard, so we're going to be, be able to dig. <clears throat> and then maybe find one. So I like this plan. And this game shaped up pretty well. I think most games are like this, where it's like, oh, my hand is pretty awkward, and I don't know, like, why this deck is good, or how I'm ever going to win, and then it's just like, oh yeah, now I'm crushing this. It's very strange. Alright, uh, so trigger on, I'm going to Bio Blight this thing. It is not a card that I actually need to counter, I'd much rather use my Bio Blights, I believe. And now I can try and fire off this dig through a counter spell, a stroker and a gate, but uh, I think since he only has the two mana open, I can wait until I have scorn. So. Oops. We'll do this main phase, and it just resolves, which is interesting. So, dissolve is a for sure. Uh, Temple is kind of nice because we don't have a white source, but I want to play the Delta this turn. So taking a Temple doesn't really do much. Uh, I could see wanting a Crux if all those Raptors come back somehow. But Downfall might just be better. And I have Ugin for the Raptors anyway, so I guess he can bring some back face down, which is problematic. So yeah, I should take the Crux probably. Did not find a dragon for Scorn, but I think that's okay. Now I have to decide whether or not I should deploy this Ugin at some point, just naturally, or try and play around the counterspell that my opponent might have. Not countering Dig is strange, but I do believe I have to counter this Morph. Uh, and if that's the case, I should crack this Fetch first, so I could actually cast Scorn if I need to, and then not waste my Scry. Scorn can go on the bottom, and that was a Den Protector, so that's a good counter. 
There's a temple. It's okay. Downfall is not really what we need. And we're probably going to have to make a move here pretty quickly. Because we're at 9. I have no idea what our opponent's 3 cards are. Could really use a Thoughtseize. Maybe he just has removal spells. I mean, I guess he, he kept in Murderous Cut, so... That shows a certain willingness to actually try and kill my things. <clears throat> There's another dig through time. So, we should be good now. We can fire off a dig for 7. Or just for the full 8, actually. Keep him with Scorn. So here's Ojutai, and <clears throat> can either take Ojutai number two or Anticipate. I think Anticipate is slightly better. I uh, really want to discard a spell to see what's going on here, or uh, another counter spell would actually be good at this point too. Don't think we want either, any of those removal spells. And it doesn't really how, matter how we order stuff. Game should be over one way or the other by the time we get down to that low in deck. Plus, we might just shuffle. So, what's gone here? I haven't actually used that many things. He thought he's my thoughts. He's I played a dissolve. I haven't really played any spells. It was just like that one crux of fate that was pretty important that our opponent actually knew about. Anticipate into a thought seize. All right. Now we can make a little something happen. We're going to four life. And if we draw a, an untapped land, we can do everything we want to. And if not, we probably just have to wait a turn. But we drew a delta, so great. Thought seize you, two cuts, and a Silumgar. So we will take the Silumgar. Play out Ugin, bolt his Wayfinder, and then he has a couple cuts and a land. And we have a Counterspell. Uh, Haven is not the best card, but if he... I don't know. If he drew Counterspell into Downfall, he could maybe kill our Ugin. Uh, so we'll just do that. Keep that Haven on top. Play Ojutai. Scorn is still alive because our Ojutai is in play. And there are some times when you cast Ojutai and they respond by playing a spell that you would like to counter, but you can't counter it anymore because your Ojutai is not in play or in your hand. It's on the stack. Uh, but I felt like that was probably not going to be the case here. So uh, there have certainly been situations where I've just not cast my Dragon. But, yeah, everything lived, so... Alright, let's go ultimate. Alright, we'll put two cards into play. Scry land to the bottom. Thought sees you again, because you can give me a bunch of life. Take one of your cuts. So, leave you with cut and a swamp. Counterspell this thing. Appreciate my opponent letting me have all the fun here. It's pretty nice of them. And yeah. Guess it is slightly better to play Silumgar with two counterspells because then he's dead next turn. And can't do anything. So I can counter his cut, counter the cards, card he draws. I already tried to cut already. So, never mind. 
I'm definitely locked in. All right, beautiful. So, uh, this is supposed to be a pretty tough matchup. I think anything with Death Mist Raptor and Dead Protector is generally pretty tough for this dragon deck to beat, uh, especially if they have actual removal spells to kill dragons. So, uh, Willie Adol played Crux of Fate of his own in the sideboard of his Pro Tour deck, which is nice, kills dragons. Uh, Murderous Cut uh, forces them to play on my terms, basically, with Ojutai, so not the best solution. Uh, even if these cuts were something like Downfall, maybe he could have killed my Ugin and it wouldn't have gone ultimate, you know. Uh, but uh, his draws were, were not the strongest. You know, he didn't have, like, any Read the Bones or any sort of, like, card advantage type things. He didn't have, like, a Courser going. Uh, so he just played Draw Go against me, basically, and that is not going to work out in favor of the Dragon's deck because look at all this stuff I'm doing. I'm doing all this cool stuff. He's not going to win the late game. So, yeah. Want to know? Deck looks great.